Greetings, everybody. How are you? It is Thursday. The weekend is almost here. There's so much going on here at Swagbucks Live as we get close to the end of our year. So much exciting stuff going on. There's some big Hubert news coming a little bit later. I'm going to talk about that. But first, we asked for your favorite holiday meal and the foods y'all were throwing out. If anybody is even a little bit hungry, this would have been a dangerous read. So here's what people are saying. The answers are in Ileana Gray's Love Some Homemade Yams and Mashed Potatoes. Debbie Musser 61 is looking forward to some chicken and dumplings. Yes, so good. You know it's not the holidays for Sorsha 13 without some sweet potato pie that is loaded with marshmallows. The only way for a sweet potato pie to be. Shelly Rock 271 has to have that mac and cheese and stuffing. I'm with you there. I've So far, everything sounds great, but of course there's more. Save some turkey for Cook Lisa 624. I assume either your name is Lisa Cook or you are a cook named Lisa. Either way, uh, I would love some turkey. Thank you. Melly Wright 753 likes stuffing as well. Also, cranberry sauce. Somebody had to throw the cranberry sauce in there, of course. Jenny Mack. Well, she likes sweet potato casserole and homemade apple pie. Yes. Winner, winner, CD. That CD, I'm pretty sure it stands for a chicken dinner. Loves honey-baked ham, but also loves the rolls. Sort of like the unsung hero of the dinner table. The rolls. Love them. Also, What's Up Zero added the pumpkin pie and also some salad. Mentioned some of the other foods. Samantha Zuzalo ate has to have that baked shrimp. That sounds amazing. And Winterbabe98 mentioned roast beef with gravy, green bean casserole, and iced tea. This is going to be a huge meal. We're all going to have to eat it together. Did you know it's National Christmas Tree Day? So let's trim your Swagbucks account with some extra SB via the Thursday edition of Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Untangle the knowledge in your mind like it's a string of lights as you... Yes, take a look. That is $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions will split it. Now, in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. So here's what happens. You get a question wrong. You're no longer in it for the grand prize. You can continue to earn bonus SB along the way. However, you will have to claim the bonus SB you earn throughout the game in order to keep them, but it's really easy to do. You stay until the end of the game. It's a fast game. And then you click the claim button that shows up at the end. That's it. Simple as that. Now, if you win the game today, you will not have to claim anything because it will be claimed for you automatically. All those bonus SB you earned rolled into your share of the grand prize. Now, for you newcomers, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it is before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. You can rejoin using SB. It's generally one SB to rejoin, or you can use a free rejoin. If you don't have any, just click get more rejoins in the main menu at the end of the game. You can earn rejoins by watching video. Not only that, but we are giving away a 500 SB prize each game to a random player who earns and claims at least one SB in the game. We announced the winner at the beginning of the following game, which means I have the winner of Wednesday's game, which was Tweety LRM. Congratulations, Tweety LRM. You'll be credited shortly. And everyone else, you're going to be entered into the drawing if you earn and claim at least one SB in this game. So I want that for you. Finally, if you're looking for more SB outside of what you win from today's game, click the More Ways to Earn button in the main menu at any time, and you'll be taken to an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. It is always there and worth checking out after the game, and really any time a game is not happening. I'll tell you what, why don't we get the comments out of the way? Goodbye comments. We don't need you right now. Let's admire the start of this one, shall we? Here is question number... animal is bluey even if you're not a parent of a young child you might know this popular australian series and it's star bluey a blue healer puppy that's making that breed very very popular as is 92 percent of you getting that one right well done of the eight percent of you who got eliminated that's okay you can rejoin 
We already had uh, we we got had about twenty eight thousand five hundred people get that one right. By the way, now we're already over thirty one thousand seven hundred people. That number continuing to climb. We're gonna hit thirty two thousand people in grand prize contention. Pretty much everybody eliminated coming back in. Plus some of our latecomers are here. Check it in, joining in. Over thirty two thousand people in grand prize contention. Over thirty three thousand four hundred people total playing the game. All of you stick around because if you earn and claim at least one bonus SB in this game, you are entered into a 500 SB drawing. Speaking of which, you can earn a bonus SB for any question you get right from here on out. Let's kick that off right now with question. Truck are songs by what band? Is it Megadeth, Bauhaus, or ACDC? Back in Black and Thunderstruck. Now, these rockers from Australia can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any band when it comes to hits, and they may have the edge when it comes to anthems. One right, you've been thunderstruck. You are on your way to question number three. The three percent of you eliminated. Pretty much everybody joining back in. Most of you doing that for free. That's what I like to see here. What do you say we move on now to question number three? Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Q. Products is for cleaning. Is it the Pet Egg, the Sham Wow, or the Snuggie? Which of these is a cleaning product that you see on TV? Hmm. Supposedly, it can pick up more spilled liquid than the competitors and can be easily cleaned in the washing machine, but I've owned one, and unfortunately, I can tell you... ...item for your heels, for your feet. And then the Snuggie, it's a blanket with sleeves, also known as a slanket. So you can, you know, have your arms out. You don't have to have them under the blanket. You can hold and reach for things. You can have the remote. You can have your phone. You can read a newspaper while you have a blanket on you and keep your arms warm. That's what that's about. All right, let's move on to question number four now worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q4. Keep Castle or Musham Castle? Legendary Castle believed to contain a gateway to hell. Jeez. Located in the Czech Republic, this castle lacks basic amenities like a kitchen, but what it does have is a giant hole in the ground, and the legend is that cover it up. Huska Castle is the answer. I hope I am saying that right. 86% of you got it right, even if I said it wrong. Well done. They did send people down into the pit, like prisoners went down there. They there are all these reports of like people people getting lost there, people returning years later, all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, so they built a castle over it and said, we don't have to worry about the kitchen. We're not going to be eating here. Let's move on to question number five now. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q5. Only one of these guys has 500 career home runs and 500 career steals. Thanks to his late career controversy, one of the greatest baseball players of all time will never be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. However, one on Swaggett, I think a lot of you got it. As we mentioned, he also has the career home run record. He's hit more home runs in the major leagues than anybody else in history but all three of these guys are the best ken griffey jr i think has the most beautiful swing of any baseball player of all time had he not gotten injured had he not suffered the injury bug when he went to cincinnati i think he would have stood a very good chance of maybe even getting to 800 home runs i think he could have done it let's move on to question number six now it is worth one bonus sb if you get it right already halfway done this game here it is q6 League Soccer, National Hockey League, or Major League Baseball rarely allows teams to tie. Now, they've amended their overtime rules for the regular season, but in general, the game will go on until there is a winner, because just like crying, the answer ties very common in both the NHL and MLS. 72% of you getting that one right. Well done. 
In fact, now you get a point. I think you get two points for you get a point for a tie, a point for an overtime loss, and two points for an overtime win in hockey. I don't know if soccer works the same way, but uh, ties very common in both of those sports. Baseball, much less so, especially professional sports. There, there are a lot of weird conditions that have to be met for that to actually be an MLB tie. Of the 28% of you who are eliminated on that, well over half of you coming right back in. We still have over 22,000 people in grand prize contention. Only four questions left in this game. Couple toughies out there. Let's see how you do with them. Here's question number seven worth one bonus SB. Lee or Danielle Steele. One of these three worked as an airline ticket clerk while writing their first novel. Who was it? I don't know how good of a ticket clerk they were, but I feel pretty confident saying they were much better as a writer. After all, hard. Seventy-six percent of you getting that one right. Well done. That little bit of author trivia there, doing very well. The twenty-four percent of you eliminated immediately. Twenty percent of you coming back in, and a little bit more than that. I also want to shout out all the people who are not in it for the grand prize, but continuing to play, continuing to earn bonus SB, and ready to claim them when this game ends, which also will enter them into the five hundred SB drawing. Good on you. Never a good idea to leave money on the table. Let's move on to question number eight. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Q A. One of these celebrities gave out business cards instead of autographs. We talked about this on Swag. It's so weird. There are a variety of ways to deal with autograph seekers. You can just cut them off like Ringo Starr did. Or you can give them a hilarious business card saying you have had... You getting that one right. Well done. That is what I like to say. And that, doesn't it just seem like the kind of thing Steve Martin would do? Something to sort of note the occasion without actually signing an autograph. Let's move on to question number nine. It's our second to last question worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Q not is a predator. Is it cow, goat, or jaguar? Which of those three is a predator? Predators are animals that prey on other animals, not because they're mean, they just need to eat, which is a major issue for jaguars fighting to survive as a species. Jaguar is the answer. 16,256 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. But before we hit that final question, are you looking for a side hustle? After the game, sign up as a driver for DoorDash through Swagbucks, and you'll get 10,000 SB when you make your first delivery within your first 30 days. That's $100 in PayPal cash or free gift cards on top of what you earn from DoorDash just for bringing your neighbor a fresh-cooked meal from a local restaurant. You have to be a U.S. player to qualify for this, and you have to be a new DoorDash driver, but DoorDash is the best. We love DoorDash here. I've talked about it several times. If you haven't tried driving, try it. You do it on your schedule anyway. You can see if you like it. And I bet you will because of the freedom and the money. All right. We are moving on to question number 10. We have over 16,800 people still in grand prize contention. Almost 33,000 of you stuck around till the very end. And I sure I'm grateful for that. Here this one comes. Question number 10 worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of those do you use to remove the ailments from Cavity Sam? Poor Cavity Sam. He's got a lot going on, and you're the only one who can help him feel better. Which you do by using your trusty tweezer. And you are splitting our grand prize. the bonus SB that you earned along the way. Ellie Shear, 1999. Soul Plays, 10. And Kale, um, just a few of our grand prize winners today. Congratulations to each and every one of our grand prize winners. Wish I could read all your names, but we all have places to be. Congratulations also to the people who earn bonus SP and claim them because you all have more SP in your account now than you did when the game started. That makes you a winner in my book. And now that you have all these new SP in your account, and now that it's the holidays, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You've done a great job all week long. 
We're going to have a drawing tonight. We'll announce the winner during our Friday Flash game tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. This has been Swag Bucks Live, and we will see you then, my friends.